You know, there's a great uh, philosopher, William James of Harvard, said, I sing not because I'm happy, but I'm happy because I sing. You've got to ha have that sort of trade-off of, okay, where's this guy going? Ooh, look, right? It's got to be, it just can't be safe the whole time. We've got to know that you're getting ready to do some weird stuff here and there. So that's so what we try to do with programming. You know, this is really a fusion of so many things. So you're going to see a little gospel. You're going to see a little soul, a little James Brown. Oh, some Beatles over there. Oh, some avant-garde. Give me a little piece of that. So we use all those influences, and we, and we gradually take ourselves and our audience with us on this journey. And hopefully they'll appreciate that kind of a journey rather than one that's constantly looking back. See, it's hard to move forward when you're always like this. You need to look and see where you're going a little bit. So I say all this to say, in terms of moving the big band and the, specifically the Columbus Jazz Orchestra to that next place, we're not going to leave out things that could potentially help in creating the 21st century big band. Brown. 